Hello and welcome back to the next lesson. In this lesson we will display our uh, shopping cart. So let's go to our page and let's begin the displaying part after finishing the updating part which was here. So basically I will create a table and inside this table we will display all the information from our session variable. First of all let's uh, perform a, a check if we have anything in our session. I will just add a comment display card. Okay, and now let's take a look if we have anything inside our uh, session. If is set session and the name of our session, then let's do the following actually the displaying else let's write chart sorry cart is empty okay great so what will be include inside our session uh, inside inside this if this condition I want to include a table, so I will print now the table tags, which we of course discussed in the HTML lessons. You may want to repeat them now before continuing with this lesson. Anyway, I will just write those table tags. I'm opening a new table. I want no border to this table. Don't want it to be use, uh, visible. Let's set cell spacing to be zero and cell padding to be zero as well. And also the size of our table. And close the table tag. Let's insert a new row. And a new cell. A line should be left. Okay, inside this cell I want to print the name of my product. But of course that I need to go first of all to my session to take a look which IDs are assigned with some values and then to open uh, my database to retrieve uh, all the information about uh, my item. For example the name and the price. It is not stored inside the session variable. Inside the session variable we have only the ID and the quantity which the visitor would like to purchase. So let's uh, create a connection to our, uh, not a connection, basically an, a request to our uh, database. We will use the SQL uh, select sentence. So let's use snippet here. SQL select. I will move the comment just before this sentence. Okay. Can move it to the beginning of our line. Great. Let's select from products where ID is equal to ID. But the question is which ID? And the answer is each ID inside our uh, cart session. So we will use here the for each expression. For each session 
name of our session and then as id is the variable will be assigned by x value or the value will be stored in the x and the place will be stored in id that is the syntax of for each uh, loop it is very simple loop but you know this arrow is a little bit frightening uh, it's very easy i will explain you just now uh, the meaning of this arrow uh, okay just one correction i need to check if uh, our session exists at the beginning of the display process and then i can make this for each loop of course i need to close this loop okay this part the declaration of uh, the table should be of course outside the loop because the table is declared just once let's just move the text to understand where each sentence belongs and let's also close our table at the end of our if okay great now we are connecting to our database and retrieving the row with the ID which belongs to our session and is filled with some quantity it actually exists because the for each function will skip those uh, IDs there are not set basically we are setting only those IDs which were added to the shopping cart so let's just uh, define some new variables name will be the first one and it will include my row name I want to limit uh, this string and I don't want it to be too long that is why I will use the substring function which we discussed uh, earlier okay this should make uh, my name shorter and then it will fit inside the table okay name is set now let's talk about price it will be my row price we can even retrieve just the name and the price and not all the fields 